Hey everyone, wanted to show you what I'm working on here on my first quote unquote paternity leave for working in Sonics. So I put two holes in here, I first marked them properly, uh, and I'm going to properly bring these up so they're this size. This is 0.185, which is what the ANN 3-7A bolt I think goes through. And it'll go through the Longeron, through the gusset, through this top skin, uh, and uh, it'll be really, really strong here. So I'm putting these sides in right now so uh, these bolts will go through at the same time too and I'm going to start slowly bringing all of these holes up to the 30 size so I can get ready to go ahead and bolt this entire section and rivet this entire section on which will also include riveting these these I'm leaving for the uh, upper turtle deck support here but um, yeah I'll keep you uh, informed when I'm working on and keep going Okay, I actually cannot remember what I told you last time, uh, but here we go. So I went ahead and drilled these holes up to the right size, and they are reamed properly. I have all these holes across here, all the way drilled up to the 30. I went ahead and these clips in the back, I made a, a first pilot hole to make sure that they're staying on right, and they are. And so my goal is, I went and checked the plans. They said, you can install this top piece uh, with the rivets, but don't rivet or... Uh, bolted in just yet and um, don't put this bottom piece on until you put the turtle deck skin in because that will go into here and then you'll drill through that with the turtle deck skin to put the bolts through and you need to be able to get up access from below to put the bolts in but I can still get this uh, uh, done for right now so I'm going to keep working on this and um, I might drill this up a little bit more, but I might wait just until I put the turtle deck skin in later to verify it's fitting properly. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna keep working on it. I took this upper cross bar off and flipped it upside down so I could go through and drill these up to the 30 size. Uh, it says do not attach it until you, um, oh, actually I already mentioned that part to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, drill this up to the proper size. Take this off, go ahead and finish this piece right here. I'm going to um, do you burr it and go ahead and paint it? Because I know that's the, the last is going to have to be worked on. So I'll go ahead and do that. Then I'll go ahead and prep these other pieces by uh, drilling these clips and some other bits as well too. And uh, get them ready to assemble. I realized I had not uh, drilled these clips all the way up on the side. So I had to put it back up in the fuselage for a second. And I've got all the holes drilled properly with it all properly lined in and uh, held together. Now I'm taking them out and I'm going to go ahead and... Um, take them off and uh, deburr them, paint them, and go ahead and just assemble them right here because the assembly will not be a problem. I won't have to take that off. Uh, this side though, I will have to dimple dye these because this and the skin are flush. So I'm gonna dimple dye this while it's already going and then uh, dimple dye the skin so that way it'll fit perfectly. So I'm gonna do that on both sides and then go ahead and take the bottom off and finish this piece too. I really looked at the plans. I took the top part off first because in here, are a couple of pilot holes for uh, parts to drill down here. Um, they do, They make this piece twice, so you can use it on the top and the bottom. The top, it has three holes across here for this um, rivet section to go in, but they want you to be able to do a normal hole uh, distance below or the triple for the top. So they do a good job of um, using both pieces uh, very, very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill those up, and then I'll go ahead and uh, put the top back on, take off the bottom, and clean that piece up. Okay, so I went ahead and deburred all these holes inside and outside, up and down. It took a long time. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take it apart and then uh, acid, or uh, acid watch, but um, use my lacquer thinner to clean it and then go ahead and uh, paint the self etching primer on top. And then I will uh, be ready to go ahead and put these rivets in on the top. And then that'll be a solid, solid bit. And then I can uh, do the bottom piece and have that ready for the next time I, I put that on. Okay, all cleaned, painted, and put back together. I'm going to go ahead and drive these CC, C, no, CCP42 rivets. Yeah, CCP42. This top part here, these are CCP46. These are way bigger than normal rivets. You can see how much longer that is. About maybe 25% longer. And I'll go ahead and rivet this upper part together. And there's the box finished being riveted up from the top down. Um, I still need to deburr and finish this bottom section, which I'll do next time I come out. I'm out of time now. Uh, if you notice, a lot of times when I say, here's what I'm going to do next, I completely don't do that and do something else. Usually right after I put the camera down, I have to go read the plans again. And I find out there's some other little part I have to do beforehand or some other way I have to do it a little bit differently. So I'm not trying to throw you off by saying one thing and doing another. It's just uh, 
no matter how many times you study the plans, you go back and look and you kind of learn something new. So that's kind of the reason why. But um, anyway, I think it looks pretty good. Put all these rivets. Here's the uh, the three really large ones that went through, and I checked them earlier. They did go through really well. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they uh, went through properly, and uh, it's really really strong. So I'm gonna call out a day for now, and thanks for watching.